Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chishu Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Akon says African women are more submissive to their men than American women. So guys, this conversation and clip is coming to you from the Joe Budden Network. We're about to get into this fast, not slow. Make sure you cop your fast, not slow hoodies. I've got mine on right now. Um, check it out down below. No more wasting time, man. Let's get it. And if we go to Africa, we're talking about women. That's Now it's paradise. Because mm, you're yeah. not just dealing with beauty. You're also dealing with a different mentality. Like, <sighs> women treat you like... The a king man, you are. Like a king. Uh -huh. They're not competing with you. They're not fighting for Whoa. equality. Because they understand that men and women could never be equal. They understand their roles. You know? To that you say? Not a goddamn thing. <laughs> you you know? sucker. I'm not, Yo, I'm going to go put some I money got, in that I, jar. I, go ahead. I, 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 I have <laughs> so, some money going to the side for my <laughs> Africa fund. When I, so when I could get my... This is dangerous times, man. Akon's over there talking about like... Women in Africa understand what it is. They know men are, you know, the head. They're in charge. They know what a man is. They respect a man. And it's just so interesting to watch the Americans, right? And I consider myself American, even though um, I was born in Africa. I consider myself both. I've spent most of my time in the U.S., obviously so. But what I want to point out here is as he's saying these things, right? As he's saying women are more submissive in Africa to their women and American women ain't shit, right? Akon, not me. I don't want the YouTube people coming after me next. Jesus Christ. But I'm just saying, as he's saying this, you're seeing the other guys, the Western dudes, you're seeing the other guys in the room. They're kind of like, whoa. You know what I mean? <laughs> they would never say it themselves, but they'll bring the guests to say it. And then they'll talk about it. It's just real interesting for me to see like the different dynamics play out in this conversation. Let's keep watching. I'm gonna go, there. I'm gonna go bless the jar. When I get over early, there, I'm gonna call you a bunch today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna put, a, he put him over there early. early, yo. This guy. No, I mean that's just. I mean that's no, a matter. No, no, it's it's a matter you. of understanding. How are those roles, the roles defined there? The roles are very defined. It's very clean. Like here, even if you say the word role to a woman here, they get offended. Man. That's true. Just use the role, yo. Play your role. Let me play mine. Role. What the f you mean? Play my mm -hmm. role. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like everybody has a role there's infrastructure to life and if a woman doesn't okay. understand her position and the role that she play in life everybody's confused how can a man and a woman play the same exact role where's the balance mm. right so in Africa it's very clear the woman plays the role of a woman okay God installed love emotions compassion. and compassion in a woman because as a motherly figure those things have to be instilled. Mm -hmm. Nurturing. Right. This is why women catch so much quick, feeling so quick. This is why they can endure so much pain. Fast, and still not slow. Be there. That loyalty, all that comes with them naturally. They think that they we treat them like them. shit. No. I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> I was about to say, they, they, they everybody. This is <laughs> Coming for you, Akon. Joe Bunn's like, they're going to kill this man. Mr. Akon. Right. And, and say it. And Antoine agrees. No, but guys, at the end of the day. Um, I agree. <laughs> At the end, he's afraid to agree. At the end of the day, it's true. So I'm gonna give you a little push. Now the man. I'm gonna give him some too. I'm gonna give you a push. Back. All right. So, as a woman, her role is to support the man. I agree. The man, we are the kings and the divine of this universe. They, a woman can never compare to the man. They have to understand that here in America. The woman. Drink the coffee. It'll make you feel better. Don't create life. They support the creation of life. Damn, somebody just broke that down to me. The yes. man is yes. who yeah. create life. Every time I say it, they laugh at me. Man, we're gods. We the ones that create life. No, to women, I'm saying. Just come see. Right. I just said it to you so, the other day. You're and laughing. Let me, let me give you an, uh, an example of the science of it. Hmm. A man right now can create life without a woman, but a woman can't create life without a man. Hmm. If I wanted to create life right now without a woman, I would just shoot my sperm, put it in the incubator, and just oh, give it nine months even maybe less with today's science, and a, a baby will be born. A mm. woman can't do that. So, men, we are the creators of life in actuality. Yeah, this is, um, this is a really hot topic. Hot topic. Akon says African women are more submissive to their men than American women. And as an African man by birth, 
I agree. I agree that they are more naturally submissive. But more on that later. More on that later. Real quick, let's just see what people had to say about this. We're going to check out a few of these comments because, of course, this lit up the internet. And, of course, people had their opinions. First comment here reads, he is right. I have seen it first hand. So this person agrees. They think this is good coffee. This next comment comes from a woman and it says they have no rights. Dot, 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 dot. And she's saying these women have no rights in these other countries. And that's just not true. That's just not true. They have rights. Many women in African countries have rights. What they don't have is the ability to be delusional, the privilege to actually live in that delusion, right? For example, because women in the US and in other Western countries have police officers when they need help, you know, ready to come at a beckons call, even though, you know, it's mostly men, they don't acknowledge that. They'll just say, I don't need a man. I could just call the cops. Why do I need a man? Well, the majority of the police force are men. So yes, you do need men, but you think you don't. And this civilized society has led women to be more prone to delusions. That's why they're more submissive, more readily. And next comment here from another woman who is pushing back says, nope, not all African women believe in these ideals. You are talking about 54 countries. Let's not. Not all American women will push back on roles. Generalizing is highly problematic. Sorry, Akon, but no, we do not live in the Old Testament. And so Old Testament there, she's um, referring to the biblical Old Testament where, you know, where gender roles were very strictly outlined. Now, I want to say this. This is a perfect example, guys, because in a prior video, I said, listen, you can go date and women in other countries. Just don't bring them back here. This is a perfect example of an African woman who is probably in a Western society and she sounds like a Western woman, right? She doesn't believe in gender roles. She doesn't agree that masculine energy cannot be replaced. She thinks she can be the man, right? She thinks she can play that male role. This woman, like many other women in Western societies, are just a product of their own environment. That's why she's pushing back. And then the thing about generalizations, life works in generalizations. It just does. That's the way life works. Next comment here from another woman reads, I agree with Akon 100%. Okay, so we have a woman that agrees. She goes on to say in every aspect, I'm Hispanic from Honduras and women in my country and family are the same. I was even raised that way. And I enjoy being a mom and wife, been married for 10 years now. I understand other women or men may not agree, but what works for some may not work for others. And this is why a majority of women are single, especially in America. Keep listening to City Girls, she goes on to say, and that's how y'all will end up. This is my opinion. I agree. She says it's not for everybody. Yeah. You know, cooperating with the man and understanding power dynamics in relationship isn't for everybody that's why women are alone they work best by themselves right struggling next comment which is our final comment here reads laugh out loud south africa begs to differ and i'm curious what do you guys think right do you agree with akon do you think that african women are more submissive than american women i'll tell you what i think from my own personal experience it's very, 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 very true. It's very true. So this conversation usually leads me to another conversation that a lot of men have within this space is, well, should men consider dating women from other countries more? Should they get their passports and go out and date outside of the country? I actually addressed this recently, and I'm just going to play a little bit of what I had to say about that. Let's get it. First of all, this is not advice. This is like when I talk about marriage and I say, hey, it's up to you once you realize the current state of marriage, how you want to move forward, whether you want to get married or not, if you want to protect yourself, it's all up to you. I'm not the guy when it comes to the marriage thing to say, I think men shouldn't get married or I think they should get married. I say, whatever you do, make sure you're as informed as possible. If what you want is to get a woman overseas and you've thought it out very well and done your research, then do it, man. Do it. I think you should do it. 
I think everybody needs to travel first of all, give you a whole different experience, just exposing yourself to a new type of um it's almost like a new reality once you go to a different country. If you've never been, it changes you. But as somebody who was born overseas, I can confirm that women overseas are not as masculine, entitled, and ignorant to what a man needs in comparison to women out here in the West. In fact, they drink coffee. Like my coffee, like I like my women. So I was born in Zambia, for those of you who may not know, and travel back and forth. Probably could travel more frequently, but I go enough that I can still maintain familiarity with my family and such. I want to travel more back to my birth country. With that being said, here's just some real advice for men wanting to find wives overseas. Number one, sure, you can go overseas and find a woman who will eight times out of 10 treat you much better than women in the West. When I say treat you much better, I'm not talking about connection and all this shit the women want to talk about. Well, what if you guys aren't connected? What about connection? So surface level. Men don't care about that shit the way women do. Men are simple. Does she know what you want? Does she know um, how to cook? Does she challenge you? Does she understand um, power dynamics within a relationship? Is she pleasant? Yeah, you will find that because women out there aren't trying to compete on who has the biggest balls, right? They're not confused. They know who they are. They know they are women and they know that you are a man. Now, with that being said, listen, if you plan on going overseas, don't plan on moving back to the States with your wife, with your chicks. And this is why, man, because guys who think that they can go there and then move back. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get a foreign wife. I'm going to bring her back to the States. They underestimate the power of female empowerment propaganda that's fed through media that's on on tv that's on the social media that she's going to consume when she's over here she's going to touch down here and as soon as she arrives in this country or any western country everybody is going to be trying to feed her tea instead of coffee no um i'll have a tea actually so guys that was pretty much my take on the whole getting your passport and dating women who are in africa or in other countries i'm not saying don't do it but i think i'll be disingenuous to not be completely honest with you. And of course, there are people who disagreed with me and said, you know, um, no, you can bring them back here. They'll be fine. I'm telling you right now, man. If you're going to go overseas and marry a woman overseas, then you want to stay overseas. Don't learn the hard way. If you bring her back here, <laughs> if you bring her back here, she will change fast, not slow, right? You won't see it coming. There, there are a bunch of stories about this all throughout um, different foreign communities. And I'm not saying this is bad or women shouldn't do this or that. I'm just saying every woman and every man, we're all a product of our environment. Unless if you make a deliberate effort to be different. Right. If she comes to the, the, the U.S., well, Western society and culture will turn her into a modern woman. Just like a lot of men today are feminized as a result of the culture that they live in. Same shit, right? You have to make a deliberate effort. You have to be intentional about not allowing yourself to um, suffocate your masculinity, to look at it as something that's evil or bad. And most women who come to this country, they're not they're not thinking in those terms, right? They're trying to survive. They're trying to get a job and they have to be in a certain mindset to survive. I'm just keeping it real. Again, like I said, I make these videos overall to inform and then it's up to you to make the best decision for yourself moving forward. A wise man once said, men and women are better together than they are apart. Listen guys, as always, I'm curious to know what you think. Leave your comments down below. I appreciate you for checking out another episode of The Coffee Pot. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.